14 verse uh, and read down to the end, which is the 22nd verse. Because, uh, you know, in this society, you worry about getting a woman pregnant and all that. Well, you ain't going to be worrying about no protection in the kingdom, man. Right. You're going to have all babies all over the place, man. You're going to have children that you don't even know that th those are your children, man. Okay? Because in our kingdom, your women are not going to be messing around, getting all frustrated with the children either. You're going to have... Um, you're going to have servants, man. I'll, I want to mention another movie, all right? I always put the movies in because movies illustrate what I'm saying and what other brothers are saying. Um, we, go see the movie, which all of y'all seen. If you ain't seen it, you ain't black or you ain't an Israelite. Coming to America. The first scene of uh, Coming to America, the first maybe 15 minutes, the way he got up in the morning, they had somebody wipe his ass, which that's not going to happen in the kingdom, all right? But everything else, you have women bathing you, talking about the royal penis has been washed and all that, cleaned and all that, man. You know? <laughs> um, so that's, that's, and then he even had an air about him, like he was royal. Because, that, because he's an Israelite. Eddie Murphy and uh, Arsenio Hall, they're Israelites, man. Oh, and by the way, Eddie, uh, Arsenio Hall, he was on The Last Apprentice, and he won that whole thing. And I saw the whole show, man. He won that whole thing, man. You know? That dude is... Yep, that was, of course. Yep, yep. But um, another movie besides that one is uh, The Last Emperor. Y'all got to see that movie. You can probably catch it on YouTube. Right. The last, Well, I saw it when it first came out. But they showed you... As from the time he was a, a, a little a baby, all right, until the time he grew up. Now, there was a scene when he was about maybe 10 years old where he had this Chinese woman. She looked good, too, brother, you know. And, and any time he wanted to suck on the titty, you know, he'd give her that look. And then she'll pull that titty out, and then he'll just go to sucking on it at the age of 10 or 11. Now, see, if you had a son and you had a, a, a you know, a woman... That came over that was having sex with your son at 10 or 11 years old. They'll lock your ass up. But they didn't do that back then, man. So when he became a grown man, he knew everything about a woman, man. He knew how to deal with women, man. And that's what's going on with these school teachers now. These uh, these older teachers, 22, 23 years old, having sex with these young boys, you know, 13, 14 years old. Now they're getting locked up and thrown in prison. You know, but well, that, that's but that's human nature. Con. That's human nature. But back, but see, in our kingdom, you know, my first son, my second son, my 2000th son, when he hits a certain age, he's going to understand women. He's going to have a little woman that he's going to play with, man. A woman about 20 years old that fully developed, and that's her job, man. When he went train him, you know. Uh, the comedian John Linguizamo, he has said that his father took him out to get a prostitute when he was like like. 20, well, that's big years among old. the tribes. That's big among the tribes, man. Well, the Latin tribes. That's big among the Latin my, my, tribes. Uh, my wife is Zebulon, and uh, her brother, his dad, took him out. Took him to a how, house. How, how old was he? He was like 14. Yeah, that's big among, uh, yeah. that's big among, uh, 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 yeah, if we had the inside information, you know, we would treat, treat these guys, but, <laughs> yeah, them Latins, see them Latin women, man, this is changing the subject, ain't nobody want to deal with no black women, man. That's right. Even the brothers that are with black women, you, they really don't want to be with the black woman, <laughs> all right? They settle, they settle for the black woman. They settle for the black woman. Because of a, a, a <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to hurt no feelings or step on step on nobody's toes and whatnot, man. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, that there, yeah. But 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 you know what? Yep. Hey, but 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 you know what, man? Black a uh, black men don't don't want to deal with black women. They settle for them, man. Because if a Puerto Rican, fine-ass Puerto Rican chick or one of them Latin tribes, man, they'll get with that. They'll leave. They'll find a way. They'll, they'll start arguments with their black woman to get away from that woman, man. They settle for them, man. You know? <laughs> but that's just things that we bring out. That's little uh, 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 tidbits 
of information nuggets, as the brother said, that we bring out, man. Because that's part of life. When we first started speaking, we used to come out, be on the camp the first year. We used to say, look, if you need a woman, go get you a prostitute. Yeah. And everybody had a big deal yeah, about yeah. it, man. Yep. You know? But I can go into the scriptures and show you that uh, Judah, right. uh, Judah's uh, 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 Tema, all right, he, he, he popped her, all right. Then he went looking for her. He wasn't all, he said, where's that woman that harlot? He, he wasn't ashamed of it because that's what they did. Um, um, Samson, man, he went into a harlot house and lay with the, the woman all night, man. Then he was so, uh, he took, right, he was so uh, injuvenate, rejuvenated, re injuvenate, rejuvenated that he went and took the city gates and put, him up, put it on his back, all right? And he was with the woman all night, man. They wasn't playing part cheesy, man. They were, they were, you know, getting it in, as they say, you know. But you, you, go ahead. Hosea. Yep, the most I told Hosea to get a, 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 a prostitute, man. And back then, you would give the, the, the harlot, you would give a certain amount of silver, right? And you would say, basically, that's a, 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 a rent -a wife Because what she did, and if you have experience dealing with prostitutes out there, I don't know how many of you have, but a lot of them will tell you, well, look, you by yourself, Poppy, you know, I could stay for about three weeks and I'll cook for you. I know how to cook and I'll rub your back and I'll iron your clothes. You know, I'll clean the house for you. And then the main thing, you know, you gotta clean other things. So I clean out your, you clean out your colon if you need it, baby. You know? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Keep that right that you got between your legs for me. Yep, yep. I don't care what you do over there or who you get over there. I don't want to know about it because I got told that as long as that right there, I'm getting some. Yeah, but that's but that's reality, man. That's all a part of reality. And that's gonna be a, a, a everyday thing in the kingdom. You gonna have as many if you want a thousand wives, you can have a thousand wives. If you want ten thousand concubines, you can have ten thousand concubines, man. See, this white man, this Edomite, he done fucked up every damn thing. That's why we got to get rid of him, man. We got to get rid of him because of uh, his GMOs, uh, ge genetically modified organisms. They, 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 they have what's called Prop, uh, Prop 37. Y'all know about Prop 37? Google that, man. They're, they're going to court to see, because in every country, China, Russia, every country, if they sell you GMO foods, they got to put it on the label. This is GMO. The only country that don't have to do that is America. So now you got Prop 37 where they're saying, uh, should we vote for it or vote against it, man? Monsanto has spent... Hold up, yeah, speak, Monsanto, speak, brother. Yeah, that, that, the food drug uh, company... Not Monsanto, all of them. Well, I was... They spent, um, like, they spent millions and millions of dollars to block them passing the legislation for them just simply to tell you what's in your food, man. Right. Yep. And yep. remember, GMO stands for is an acronym for genetically modified organisms. Gen genetically and done it, made in a laboratory, modified, changed organisms, living creatures that's gonna go in your system, man. And the corn, you gotta stay away from corn, because they said no matter where you go to get corn in this country, eighty percent of corn is uh GMO corn. And even Whole Foods that they claim that claim they claim that they claim that um 